Hello, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do a very quick video on something called teratogens. What you are going to do is, again, I have put some information in my teacher pop notes. If you want to copy those prior to the video, you can, or you can listen and copy after. So teratogens, what are they? Well, they are chemicals that can lead to structural and functional functional defects. Essentially, guys, they are anything that can have an effect on how the fetus grows. And they are consumed during a mother's pregnancy. So the example I have here is smoking. And what smoking can do is it causes blood vessels in the fetus to constrict. So this could mean you could have premature births, stillborns, miscarriages. Smoking is also believed to lead to high birth weights in babies. Um, it can also lead to children being born with asthma. Now, when we talk teratogens, it could be a large number of things. It is not just one thing. It could be alcohol consumption. It can be drugs. It can be even like medications that you take on a regular basis that they don't know have interactions with babies. It can be getting an x-ray. It can be being near radioactive material or um, anything that could potentially cause harm to the baby is what we're going to call a teratogen, okay? Now, essentially, teratogens tend to have a significant effect on the fetus during the first nine weeks of pregnancy. That being said, um, they say stay away from a lot of stuff through the entire pregnancy because there's no pinpointed time in which this particular thing has an exact effect on a fetus. So they say for the nine months, stay away from alcohol, stay away from smoking, stay away from drugs, stay away from... And that's because we don't have this perfect point of when it is safe to consume any of that stuff. Now, that being said, some cultures are different than ours. And for example, if when you're in France, women who are pregnant in France do drink maybe a small glass of wine, sometimes daily, sometimes once every couple of days. It can be a cultural thing as well, but um, we're not gonna get into that. We're just gonna go back to this picture. So this picture is above where your notes are filled in and you have empty boxes. Uh, I just have those boxes uncovered so you can add them in. Essentially, this is just a picture guys showing of the sensitivity of specific organs to teratogens during fetal development. So you can see that there is uh, the very first part of um, cleavage, morula, blastocyst, implantation, and the formation of an embryo. Here is the first two to four weeks of an embryo formation. And you can see here, here's where our central nervous system is really taking formation. You can also see our heart, like I said, starts forming at 22 days. Here's where our heart's formation occurs. Extremities, eyes, and external genitalia. All of this is happening prior to week 18. So this is 16. Most of this is all prior to even week 12, okay? Um, which is in the first month of pregnancy, the first nine weeks of pregnancy, the first um, not months, sorry, the first trimester, I apologize. So we're looking at, these are all the things that are developing quite rapidly that teratogens could have an effect on. This is in your notes as well, and I cannot remember if you have it fully filled out. I believe you do in the picture, but essentially, guys, this is again showing you a picture of potential dangers on it embryo and fetus as it develops. So here you can see that early part again, week one and two, and then here's week three to week eight. So you can see the heart, the eyes, the ears, the palates, all of that are growing. You can see that the central nervous system, it says morphological abnormalities are high throughout the entire pregnancy, especially with the central nervous system. You can see the development, the dangers. Yellow just means it's less likely to have an effect, okay? But it's still a very high effect. You can see that there's no perfect point of you should do, you should have a drink of alcohol right here. Or you could have a smoke break here, okay? Um, they just, again, say teratogen-wise, stay away from things during pregnancy. It's the safest way. Um, the other thing that you could say is something like prenatal vitamins. Taking prenatal vitamins is very important because it helps form the neural tube, which is essentially where your spine goes. And so people who don't take um, prenatal vitamins, uh, they have special vitamins out there for women that are designed for pregnancy because neural defects can cause things like spina bifida. So um, there's lots out there that can have an effect. They say things like don't eat raw egg and don't have raw fish and don't eat deli meat. And there's all these rules and all these things that you shouldn't do when you're pregnant because, again, they're just saying 
it could potentially have an effect. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is just a quick overview of teratogens. And we have one last thing to talk about in this chapter and we'll be done. If you have any questions for me, please let me know.